So for skirt measurement, the first measurement we need is our waist measurement. The second measurement is the hip. Third is the skirt length. And the fourth is the distance from the waist to the hip. So the waist, the hip, the skirt length and the waist to hip. So I'll tell you something, these two measurements are round measurements and you will understand what I mean in a minute by the time I'm practicalizing it. Round measurements means that I take the measurements round on the body now the the other two measurements that are like straight or you can call it vertical measurements so yeah so now that you know what these measurements are let's get measuring i'll in the notes you have the definition already you have what is defined as so now i'm just going to be practicalizing how we're going to be taking it so i said that the waist is you need to hold the waist firmly is the thing that holds the skirt for you and the hip is the largest area of your bum area is the yeah and then the skirt length is the desired length that you want for your skirt and then the waist to hip is the distance between your waist hip. so with my tape roll i'm going to be measuring on my mannequin now and you see what i mean yep So this is my mannequin and I'm going to be using it to show you how to measure the skirt length. So this is my mannequin and I'm going to be showing, showing, using it to show you how to measure your skirt length. So I'll start with the round measurements. So anything going round the body is known as a round measurement so i'll pick my tip and make sure this place is on one and then i'll make sure the other one is very is firm now when you're doing your skirt measurement you need to make sure that your waist is firm because that's what holds the skirt and if you don't take it properly your skirt can drop so just to avoid that you're going to make sure that you're holding it firmly and you can have just one finger in between yep so that's how to take your skirt measurement uh, your skirt waist measurement now i'm going to go to the hip the hip is also a round measurement so i'll just come now you see how i'm checking for the largest area See how I'm checking for the largest area because some people have um, bomb which you need to consider as well and some people have hip so you need to consider that you're taking the largest part either is the the hip or the bomb you're taking the largest part of it so now the next measurement I'm going to be taking are the length measurements so I had to tilt my camera so you can see the full mannequin so what I always tell people when you're taking the length measurements, it's safer to take it around the side because it might be different here and different at the back because of the bump. But when you take it from the side here, it's safer. 
so my skirt length starts from where my waist where i started my waist can you zoom the camera a little so they can see yeah so i'm starting from this point here and i'm taking it all the way to my desired skirt length good so let's say my desired skirt length is 17 that's where i'm going to stop so that's my third measurement so the last measurement now is the distance from my waist to my hip please zoom in again So the last measurement that I'm taking now is the distance from my waist to my hip. Usually around seven, between 7 and 8 inches. So I'll use my tape for you to see what I'm talking about. I'll use my tape. So, from this point to this point is my waist to hip measurement. Now, those are the four measurements you need to take for your skirt block. It's still going on. 